What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start this video with Nathan Diego and his physique update at 19 years out of this year's Mr. Olympia. Him and his coach are extremely satisfied with how things are looking at 19 years out. If Nathan is able to beat all three of his looks that he brought this year at Flex Pro Weekend Europa Pro Spain and Shiro Classic, he will totally crush this idea that bigger guys can only peak once. And by bigger guys, I mean guys in the men's open. Nathan shines when he stands next to the other pros on stage. And the reason is he has those crazy round and dense muscle bellies. The chest, the delts, they have this crazy 3D look to them. And that really separates him on the stage. On top of that, he has that crazy V taper. His biggest weakness is that he lacks hamstrings in his lower half. Compared to the rest of his body, I mean. Another factor that will play a major role in his placing at the big stage like the Olympia is that structurally speaking. He is not a big guy like Andrew Jack or Sam Sandalda or Michael Crizzo. But we just saw how he was able to peak perfectly in three different shows back to back. That means he has 100% trust in his current coach to bring him in at his all-time best. Nathan said that he will be 100% focused on bodybuilding for 2024. And that is the year when bodybuilding fans will see him at his peak. So keeping that in mind, do not be surprised if Nathan jumps into Romania Pro a week after the Olympia to lock his Olympia spot for next year and in pursuit of his 20 IFB Pro wins. Let's talk about the guy who is actually making the long-awaited pro debut at Romania Pro, Harsan Lee from Brazil. Impressive how much mass he has been able to pack on during this offseason. And the good thing is he was able to keep his waist the same as it was before he decided to go for the men's open bodybuilding. And for the record, Horst never had a tiny waist, even when he was prepping for classic physique division. In fact, now he looks a lot better, because overall he is so much bigger compared to 2021. It is actually a really good thing for bodybuilding, that Horst MD did not fit in the classic physique division. Just put these two pictures side by side, one from classic physique division, and the latest one which is like three and a half weeks out of his pro debut. The thing is, at least in the open class, he isn't hindered by a weight cap and he can continue to get bigger and better. So, roughly four weeks out, he weighs 271 pounds and has cut off for classic physique in 2022 that was in the 220s. So, what are your expectations from Marcelo for his men's open bodybuilding debut? A question to any of you guys who follow men's physique. How did you guys like Aaron Banks as the winning Mr. Olympia? Would you call his attitude cocky or confident? Well, Brandon Hendrickson is finally speaking up without any filters and he just blasted Aaron on his IG story. And the interesting thing here is that he just stated facts about Aaron Banks. I clearly remember Jeremy Bondea also called out Aaron Banks on his attitude in an episode of the Olympia TV. I believe that was before the Olympia last year, and that was before he even won the men's physique title. So him losing at the Legion Sports to Karen Holden, who was sixth at the Olympia last year, that wasn't a good look for him at all. And yeah, he wanted to prove a point that he could do multiple shows every year and still win the Olympia, but that backfired big time. Brandon Hendrickson and so many others are so fired up to take him down in 19 days at this year's Mr. Olympia. So, who are you guys rooting for for the men's physique title? After watching the shape in which Charles Griffin showed up at this year's Legion Sports, it is safe to say that he is capable of bringing one of the most insane conditioning at this upcoming Mr. Olympia. He was pretty solid last year as well, but he does have that structural limitation as well. But he did overcome his weakness by adding the vacuum in his front shorts, and that did pay off big time. He was on the Olympia stage last year as well, and he won California Pro to get his Olympia qualification in 2022. And he will again be standing on that grand stage in a few more days. I'm not sure how that pecked here would affect his placing, specifically if guys in that range of 9th onwards, they are really, really close. So Charles was 14th at the Olympia last year, a placing I think he will definitely beat at this year's Mr. Olympia. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.